we need eggs. And then, of course, we need some of my famous sun-dried tomato, basil, and walnut pesto for the oaks. We'll need some crushed walnuts. We'll need some chiffon out of spinach. We'll need some salt for the boiling water to soften up those eggshells so they just slide right off. And of course, we'll need some pepperoncino. We need pepperoncino for the heat in the deviled egg mixture because when I think of deviled eggs, I think of the devil. And when I think of the devil, I'm thinking about down there. And when I think about down there, I'm thinking about heat. I can't remember the last time I opened up a newspaper and they said that there was a snowstorm down there. So we're going to add some heat in the form of that pepperoncino to these deviled eggs. You know who would be proud. So let's get going and I'll see you in a minute or two. All right, so what I do first is naturally I have to make the eggs. Now this water is cold and to that water I'm adding salt. Salt will increase the pitch of the boil and salt will also allow the eggshells to get very, very soft. That way you don't have to pick at them. The shells will just slide right off the eggs. All right, so I turn on the heat. I also do this so that the eggs don't crack and so I can place them in without cracking. That way the temperature of the eggs will be brought up along with the temperature of the water. Because sometimes when you take cold eggs and put them into boiling water, they'll crack. So there we go. Now I'm going to leave these in here until the water begins to boil. And then when the water boils, I'm looking at about uh, eight minutes or so. I want those yolks very well done. Okay, so here we are. The water's at a rolling boil cooking the eggs. And this will be about um, six to eight minutes depending on how hot your stove burns. Each one's a little bit different. And when that's done, I'm going to fish the eggs out, put them in some cold water to stop the cooking, and we'll move now on to the next step. I'm going to take each one out, and I'm going to put them in cool water. Not ice cold water, just cool water. It'll slowly stop the cooking process. And it'll allow the shells to soften up a little bit more. I'll leave them in the cool water for about five minutes, maybe eight. Because uh, some people don't like handling hot, hard-boiled eggs. Okay, the eggs are out of the shell and we're ready to go to the next step. I just have to look at them sitting there like that, though. Doesn't it remind you of something like Invasion of the Body Snatchers, or the pod people. We're kind of like the eggs in the movie Alien just getting ready to hatch. I just have to stare at them for a minute just before I get going on the next step. What do you think? Okay, so it's time to separate the yolk from the egg. Now, if you have a nice thin slicer like this, Japanese-style slicer, it works pretty good. Wet the blade so it'll pass through the yolk. Okay, you could do this from the standing position or the lying position. But the trick is, you want the blade to pass through the egg smoothly. Okay, so that you don't ruin the yolk. Okay, then wipe the blade on a wet towel to lubricate it. If you want to try it from the side, you can try it from the side. I usually start with a push cut. Some people speed through this, I don't. I treat it like a sushi roll. Okay, see? No broken yolk. Don't want that yolk breaking. But I don't want to hurt the flesh of the egg either. Okay. One push. There you go. Okay, the next step is to prepare the yolks. You take a fork, you break them down. All right, real easy. So there are the yolks broken down. Now, some of that pesto, okay? Take one. Start with two big heaping, well, make it three heaping teaspoons. Blend it together. comes together very quickly. This 
this point you could change over to a spoon. I like using the fork. You don't need to add any salt. You don't need to add any pepper because there's salt and pepper in the pesto. Just a little bit of black anyway. All right, now, like I was talking about, never heard of a snowstorm down under, pepperoncino to bring some heat to the deviled eggs. And I do mean heat. That's about a tablespoon and a half pepperoncino. You could add more. Smells delicious. Get it mixed up well. All right, here we go. Little texture, little consistency, smells wonderful. And we're done with this. Next step is to fill up the flesh of the eggs, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to load up each egg. Here we go. One empty egg. Okay. In this, I'm going to put spinach leaf. I would have used basil, but there's plenty of basil in the pesto. Take a gob of the pesto egg yolk mixture. A little too much there. Okay. Put it in there. Make sure your hands are clean. Take off the excess. And there you have it. Okay. Make sure your fingers are clean to do this. Lay it on over to the side. Take the next one. Okay. Put a spinach leaf right into it. Spoonful of pesto right over the top. Press it down inside. Okay camera might not be getting this all because I said I'm a one-man show here so I have nobody to guide a camera wipe off the excess okay. another flesh another spinach leaf Another spoonful of the pesto egg yolk mixture. Spinach leaf acts as a nice backrest as well. And on and on we go. Egg. Spinach leaf. Spoonful of pesto egg yolk mixture. Push it down. Make sure you have clean hands. Presentation is everything. Wonderful. And on I'll go until this is all done. So when this is all done, we'll be back and we'll see what it looks like. See you in a few minutes. Okay guys, here it is, final presentation. We take some spinach chiffonade. Just drop it around the plate. Doesn't matter where. I like to get most of it in the middle. Just gives the eggs a nice little resting place, some decoration. Okay. That's all. And you take your serving of eggs and you rest them on the bed. Okay. As many as you'd like. I'd like them all. For this one, we'll do five. So let's do six. Okay. Now that the eggs are plated, one final touch. Couple of walnuts. Press them right in. 
press them right into the pesto. Spinach backdrop helps with this. Right into the pesto. Beautiful. Gives it an additional crunch, even though there's walnuts already in the pesto. It just gives your deviled egg another layer of texture for your guests. There we go. A little more right in front on this one. 